families. We're so glad that you could join us for another week of Playgroup Online. We have story, we have some songs, so I hope you've got your singing voices ready. Um, and I'll see you guys at the end. Today we're going to be reading Elma. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different but all happy and all the same colour. See they're all grey. All that is except Elma. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. It was Elma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmo who started it. Oh, look at him up there. One night, Elmo couldn't sleep for thinking. And the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elma slipped away unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elma met the other animals. They always said, good morning, Elma. Each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Elma found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. You see the bush here? A large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that all the berries fell to the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elma looked like any other elephant. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the animals again. Oh, look at Elma. This time, each one said to him, good morning, elephant. And each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning, pleased that he wasn't noticed. When Elma rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elma as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. Can anyone see Elma? I think that's Elma right there. After a while, Elma felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elma looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elma had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still, standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell Always in surprise, oh my gosh and golly, they said. And then saw Elma helpless with laughter. Elma, they said, it must be Elma. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst 
And when the rain fell on Elmer, you can see, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be Elma. The end. I have Elma here. This is my show and tell, but we're going to go see some more show and tell. I wonder what else we're going to see today. We're all called Graham, and we got him last year, and he... And he was born on my birthday. He's one. He has brown eyes like my mum. What do you do with Graham the dog? I get to walk him. Let's get ready for singing time. Good morning girls and boys and mums and dads. My name's Jenny and today I'm going to sing you a song called The Little Green Frogs. The reason why I've chosen this song is because it's actually my granddaughter Hattie's favourite song. And we sing this song with her when she's in the bar. So, here we go. Are you ready? Got your frogs ready? Girl went the little green frog one day. Girl went the little green frog. Girl went the little green frog one day. And the frog went bloom, bloom, bloom. But we all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da, they go go bloom, bloom, bloom. Bloom went the little green frog one day. Bloom the little green frog. Bloom went the little green frog one day and the frog went oof, oof, oof. But we all know frogs go la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da We all know frogs go la di da di da they don't go oof, 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 oof. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We ready? Here we go. You can roll your arms and you can stamp your feet and you can clap your hands through the happy beat. There's only one thing left to do is wave and say goodbye to you. Goodbye everybody! Thanks for joining us today. We hope you guys had fun. Hopefully you can get out this week and get into some of the playgrounds. How exciting that they're open again. And we'll see you next week for Playgroup again. Bye.